what's going on everybody and welcome to your 25th jQuery tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be discussing something about a drop down menu now before even that I would like to tell you guys something that I would not be teaching you each and everything in jQuery but we would be doing like all the stuff we cover in all the examples I would be explaining that to you because if I do like going from one thing to next to next to next that makes things much harder to understand and you know you won't be able to cope up with this all the stuff so let's get started and whatever I'll be teaching you with my examples from now I'll be explaining that nicely so to create a drop down menu first of all what we need to do is to create a basic structure in our HTML itself so let's get started with a drop down menu so let's say this is nav id navigation and basically you can have a nav id a nav tag in HTML5 because nav is a HTML5 tag so we have got our navigation let's style it with ul li item 1 li item 2 li item 3 li item 4 now remember that we are talking about drop down menu so the first thing you need to do with a drop down menu is to do something like this inside your li itself create a ul and this is perfectly valid do not worry in HTML standards as well so inside your li item itself create a ul and just give it a class of child so that we can distinguish between the ul the parent ul and I can just give it a class of parent as well so I can distinguish between the parent ul and the child ul so inside the child ul let's give item 2.1 item 2.2 .2, item 2.3 and uh, item 2.4 here you go and same with one more with item 5 and this should be actually inside the list itself you will class child and I guess I copied that no alright so here what we have got till now is I just created a simple nav id navigation tag created a ul class parent which contains all of the allies the main allies which have to be displayed when the first time the user opens the page then I have got some allies and in the allies which have got the drop down menu I have created the ul tag inside the li tag itself so let's see how this appears right now on the browser so here's my browser let me resize this for you a little bit here you go let's reload this and this looks very ugly I know but we could actually customize it with CSS a little bit so the first thing I'll need to do is to set all the default margins and padding to zero so that we can reset the CSS then we need to set the li list item list style to be none so that it removes all the bullets from li I hope you guys know that because I taught all this stuff in HTML and CSS section alright now what we need to do is ul class child now ul class child should be set to display none and the reason is that you should actually not have any of the child displaying from um, beginning itself because we want some user interaction to show the child ul elements and instead of just doing width 0 and height 0 I said display none because it is much cleaner and self-explanatory type of code to work with and uh, let's just copy the margin as well here in the CSS 
you could also make a separate CSS file but for this tutorial I'm just going with the inline internal CSS style sheet and the list style item as well alright so we have got our basic structure ready and now what we need to do is we need to make a little bit amendments to the code so that it looks nice and now we have to be careful when we are working with allies because we are actually working with allies in this section as well and in this section as well so obviously I don't want these to follow the rules of these because these two are different things so what we can do is we can um, reference the direct childs of ally with the ul.parent now ul.parent selects this and this is the immediate child selector so now we are referring to all these allies but not the allies inside the ul.child UL alright so now I'll just give it a float of left and what we have got one two three four five allies so every sh everyone should have a width of 20% padding of 10 pixels and I guess I should just give a box size in here so that everything aligns perfectly all right now the background should be actually something which is easy to recognize like this awesome but right one pixel solid so that you know we are just able to distinguish one item from another looks perfect all right so we have got our HTML and CSS ready for this stuff and let's get started with jQuery finally so just one last thing we can actually give it a cursor of pointer as well so that it just makes a hand with it so here's my jQuery script from the previous tutorial let's remove this and here you go let's get started so first thing we need to do is to add an event to this and the event is click or basically the hover event so this is the parent and first of all let's just um, start with jQuery and oh if I haven't taught you about this this is just the shorthand of document.ready though I think I have alright so now what I need to do is anytime parent ally the direct child of the UL class parent is clicked or not clicked sorry hover then I want a function and since hover accepts two function therefore I need to have two functions the first function fires whenever um, you know the element is entered in the state of being hovered and the second function is fired when the element is in the exit state of being hovered so this would fire when the user takes its mouse over the element and this would fire when the user withdraws his mouse from the element so when the user is hovering we want first of all ul child to be displayed block obviously but if we do that it would just appear like a sudden thing so what we can do is we can make use of um, this dot find ul now I have a couple of things here to explain to you guys dot child so don't worry if you don't understand you will dot child and we would just set it to um, show with a delay of 200 milliseconds so let's just see how it works let's reload this and I guess I didn't copy the box shadow model here box sizing sorry box sizing border box uh, let's just reload this again all right so item 2 had a ul class child and let's hover over it all right so here you see that 
This event is fired whenever I am hovering over the item 2 which has a UL class child and none of them fire when hovering else because they don't have a UL class child. So this looks kinda not so good right now but we can obviously customize it with CSS. So what's happening basically over here is first of all we are with this event registering a hover effect and whenever this is hovered this thing is hovered then we are using the this this keyword inside the jquery constructor now there's technically no difference between this and this but the difference is that jquery returns um, everything as an array so this is technically equal to this with a index of zero though obviously there would be always one element inside the constructor function of this but since uh, though we need to use this thing right here to refer to the exact same thing of this but in most of the cases this would also work so I promise you guys that I'll explain this thing inside the this tutorial of jQuery because it would take a whole another tutorial to explain what is the this keyword though I have done it with um, I guess JavaScript but jQuery is a bit different so for now just uh, remember that this is just referring to the element which we are hovering right now so this dot find now find is a method which is accepting an argument which is a yet another a uh, selector a CSS kind of selector now inside this which refers to this thing right here it finds ul dot child and it sets it to show at 200 milliseconds delay now what it is doing is see if you carefully see then it increases its width from 0 pixel right here all the way down to here and that is why you see that the text appears from left to right in this direction see carefully you see that the text appears from left to right direction so to fix this thing what we can do is while animating the UL class child jQuery animates both the width and the height so one thing we can do is we can set the width of this to be 100% with an important now what this would do is it would not allow the jQuery animator function to change the width but only the height and I'm doing this because this would make the animation effect much more cleaner and smoother so, so let's see this now if you see then it looks much good than the previous one much better I should say than the previous one because it just drops and rounds again so let's add the counterpart of this whole function and I guess I was supposed to have two parts of this but you know we could just cover it in the one part itself so why have two parts alright so in the counterpart of the hover function which means what happens when the user takes over from the mouse we would still refer to this dot find ul dot child and what we can do is we can just hide it simply so that wouldn't make any difference and I could just make it a little bit slower for you guys so let's reload this again and over over item 1 nothing happens over over item 2 it slowly appears and slowly disappears whenever you hover over again and again 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 and you can do that all day <laughs> if you wish to <laughs> alright so I guess you guys can now do the um, CSS styling yourself because that's not much difficult to do the only thing that was difficult to grasp was the concept of this um, UL how you achieve this thing and since I have applied a little bit of padding here that is inherited by the thing as well so what I can do is I'll just do padding top with 10 pixel 
so that would fix the problem and padding bottom obviously no doubt here you go and you will dot parent li it should be like this perfect now the next thing I need to do is to oh so the padding bottom is actually applied at the bottom so we don't need um, padding bottom for now just the padding top <coughs> and this thing the ul class child should have its style itself you can apply all the styles to the change background color to make it unique and do all of the stuff and actually you could fix this padding problem as well with the jquery hover effect you could just remove the padding whenever the item is on hover so that's how you do this and that's pretty much um, how you can create a simple basic hover effect or uh, drop down menu with jquery so i look forward to your response on this video and i'll see you then next time goodbye and take care